what i want to do today is uh, uh, floating point representation which i did in the theory class also so i will go back to a new sheet because this sheet is all full okay so let me go back so floating point representation if you remember was all about uh, uh, you know trying to get rid of certain errors which happen due to your floating point uh, representation in in a number so let me write uh, a number uh, randomly so i say uh, 500.004 uh and then i say minus 500 this i'm writing deliberately for a reason which i'll just uh, you will get to know uh, soon so i just sum these numbers and uh, let's see what we get uh, we should be getting zero as the answer because uh, you know uh, first answer is 500.004 and the other two numbers are in negative and they are indeed uh, uh, you know are uh, equal to the first number but the answer that we have got So the simple sum formula is this floating point number, which we do not want. Reason being, I will not want to do further calculation with this number. Though I can do that, but that is basically required when we are working with the higher level programming or with a very scientific, uh, you know, problem. But as long as you know we are not working with that, we would want to get rid of this. Now, how to get rid of that? One way of I write over here. One way of doing that is round off. right you will also see that you know if i just write over here uh, the same number i say 500.0000 multiple zeros and if i write then 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that now this long number will not be stored automatically if i just press uh, press enter it will give me only 500 but when i mention you know few digits after decimal point and i can you know i work with them then this will give me this error because excel will automatically round off that you know larger floating point and number to the original number so when if i write this like uh, you know point uh, 0000000 then 1 2 3 1 2 3 and so on it will return the floating point number which i don't want to have so it will the one option is that it will uh, you know maybe you know it can because over here i actually wrote a very big number but if i would have written only 0.23 or 0.1 or 0.000 only one number then it will round off so let me just tell you first uh, way to get rid of this error which might happen in your excel sheet unknowingly because certainly you know excel by default has the uh, format as a, if you go to the format option let me just uh, go there and check that so when you go there uh, and you will check that the format that we have by default is the general uh, format but if we want to denote certain numbers in this maybe fraction scientific then we will have to manually go there and change this format certainly uh, we will be needing that when we working with higher complex numbers but as of now let's work with this particular option so the very first option is the uh, round off option that we can do and if you remember we have done this function already in one of the class so i will simply say round bracket and if you remember the format the format was round it will take two arguments if you remember the very first argument is a number which i want to round off and then comma and then it will ask me the digits up to which i want it to be rounded off so i'll say this first argument is a number that i want to round off which is basically shown by the sum of the digits given in a2 to a4 then i say comma and then i say 2 and then i close the bracket let's see what we get so i got now zero as the answer in the earlier case when i didn't write round it was actually giving me that error which i don't want now with this particular number if i have to do further calculations i may not be uh, you can say uh, equipped to do i may not be skilled enough to do those calculations so the one way is that i can easily get rid of those floating point error representation and get going with my zero and i may have to use that zero somewhere else in a similar manner uh, the other option is that uh, let me just uh, do this also so i can also do uh, i can change this to this number and if i say okay i will give zero over here so one way is that i can round off the number and second is i can change the format of the scientific number which i am getting but over here i am getting 0.00 but i would want to get rid of this extra zero after decimal so i can simply go to the format option make this as zero and say okay and then i will get zero over here 
And now I can use this zero anywhere else in any function or in any, any other formula which I want to use here. Another option which we have over here is that you can also do that by going to the settings option. I will not be doing that uh, because I don't want to have a change in my Excel program, but I can actually tell you how to do that. And if you remember when we were doing theory class, in the theory class also it actually categorically mentioned that you should avoid using this option because it will apply this particular application on all sheets that you're working on. And since normally we work on one workbook and we tend to change the sheets, I will not want to use this option, but I can tell you how to do that. So what do you do? You can have, you can have, you will have to go to this uh, home option. In the home option, you go to the Excel options. When you go to the Excel option, you will actually go to the, uh, let me see, advance. In the advanced category, you will see uh, one option of, uh, let me just come back. You will see this option of set precision as displayed, which by default is not clicked. It is showing me click because, you know, I clicked it for the other batch, right? So it is by default not clicked, but I can click that and I can then, uh, then it will give me this uh, message that data will be permanently losing its accuracy, which I do not want to have. So I will not want to, because if I press OK, because last time I pressed OK and actually gave me some errors in the Excel sheet. So I can do through this option also. When I do that, it will actually not give me that floating point representation. Try doing that. It, should, it shouldn't give you any problem. So I will not do that. So I just press cancel. I just repeat the uh, you know option. And I'm not going to press OK. So just let me repeat what I did. So I go to the home command. In home command, I press Excel options. In Excel options, I go to the advanced category. In the advanced category, you will normally see advanced options for working with the Excel. So it will give you a lot of options which are clicked and which are unclicked. So if you want to change your Excel settings, you can actually play around with that. But normally as a beginner, you know, I would not want to do that. And I suggest you also not do that. 